Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm the owner of Classic Shoe and Leather Service in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a third generation cobbler with over 30 years experience. Our facility repairs all leather items. Come on in, let's see what we're repairing today. Okay, so we're gonna take measurements of some boots and then we're gonna stretch them. We'll show you the stretching process. We're gonna show it to you. It's gonna probably take a few stretches before we get it all the way out, but we're gonna note progress as we go so we can show a before and after of an actual stretch. So right now, the widest part of her calf is going to be at 16 and a quarter inches. Okay, right about there. And that's what we're gonna go for. Uh, right now, and let's see the other side. Other side, we are at pretty even legs too. Very nice. All right, 16 and a eighth, 16 and a quarter, right in there. That's what our goal is gonna be. All right, let's go ahead and take those off. We're gonna do a raw measurement of the boot themselves. You are awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. Okay, we're gonna zip these up. Wrap this right around here and see how far we are going. Oops. Right now, we have a calf measurement of 14 and a half inches. So we're going to be going an inch and a half, okay, is what our measurement's going to be. Uh, like I said, it'll take a few, uh, few different turns. You can see we have a zipper, we have a gusset. All of this is going to stay the same. We're just going to stretch out the boot and make it fit. All right, and we'll show you the stretching process in a minute. Thank you. All right, so in the first part of the video, we were able to see the customer try the, on the boots. This is gonna be an exciting uh, series of videos. We're gonna actually show you through the process of stretching boots, not just actually you know, doing the, the actual uh, part here. We're gonna explain why we do the things that we do and how we do them. All right, so we've already conditioned this. We did use Lexol on this one. Uh, we have a leather lining on this. The Lexol's um, a thin conditioner, so it'll go in pretty easily. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these set. I put in a brace piece on the inside, as you see there. That's just to be able to protect the insole from getting damaged while we're putting, hammering all this. All right. So right now we're just going to get set and get both boots set, and then we'll actually put everything together. We'll start off with two edges, just kind of get it centered. Here, do that again. So, we guarantee our stretches. What that means is once you're taking a job, I intend to do it all the way. Sometimes stretching is not done on the first try, sometimes stretching is a progressive uh, amount of stretching. What we do in, in a case where we're going to be doing an inch and a half like this is we let the customer know that there is uh, a definite uh, likelihood that it will not work on the first try. It will take several tries to do. So what we want to do is we want to stretch uh, the boot to what it will allow for the first stretch and then take it down, detreat it, condition it again. Uh, or take it down, detray it, have the customer try it on, note the progress of where we have stretched to that point, and then we condition it again, tree it back up, push it out some more. Every time we do it, we can get it in uh, successively larger and larger and larger until we hit a point where the leather is actually beyond the point of being able to stretch anymore and it will actually do damage to it. We want to stop before then. So what we're going to do, what we like to do is just slowly move it out further and further until we get to the point where it fits. All right, so it takes about 600 pounds of pressure per square inch to be able to stretch out leather, roughly. Every animal's different. But what we wanna do here, because most zippers can't handle that amount of pressure, we wanna stretch it to the point where the we're putting all as much pressure on the leather as we can without stressing the zipper itself. And actually, this one's going to get there pretty quick. Hmm.
Okay. So tension's building up. Still pretty, pretty loose right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the other one set. And this one we're actually going to do up top, uh, like we did the thigh high video, and that's just because I don't want to put too much pressure on there. I don't want to watch the zipper. All right. So now we're just going to turn that in a little bit and I might need another wedge. Oh, that's a fun sound. And it's pretty tight right in the calf, which is good, but yeah, that's not quite enough. I'll go ahead and do this one and I'll go grab another wedge for that. And they will move at different rates. We've seen the left one move more than the right, or right one move more than the left, vice versa. I've done this on several pair of boots where it takes longer for one side than the other. Basically, it's really, you just got to take your time. That's with any good job. You got to make sure that you take enough time to do it right. See, that's gotten pretty nice. We're probably at, we're probably only at about 200 pounds right now. We'll get a couple more edges, I'll be right back. here to show you what progress we've made on this. And it'll be the same process the whole way through. Just might move the trees up or down a little bit to get in a different area. But definitely adding more. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so see the difference in the stretch from the how easy that is, how tough that is. That's how much more pressure we have right there. All right, this one's not gonna take much more, so I'm gonna do this and wedge. That one will actually hold together. You're gonna need to make more wedges. So I also make my own stretchers. I made these, most of these stretchers I made a decade ago or more, but they served me well. But I did that, uh, I think I made 40 or 50 different pair of calf stretchers in different sizes with the calves in different places and whatnot to reach the highs and lows to match people's legs. Uh, I did that because there's a lot of variation of what people's sizes are and allows for, oh that's beautiful, it allows for a much more specific stretch. All right, so we can see that that's stretched out nicely. Let's go ahead and do a quick measurement. Now, what it measures now will not actually be what it measures when it comes off the tree because it's going to pull back. Leather has an elasticity to it, uh, so 16 inches. That's really good for our first stretch. All right, uh, leather has an elasticity to it, much like a rubber band. What we want to do is to make sure that we get the leather to expand and uh, set past the elasticity, okay? The elasticity typically starts to engage in the 24 to 36 hour mark. That means that the leather wants to pull back and uh, shrink around the, the object that it's around. Uh, it wants to do that 
immediately on this. Once you detree this, it's going to uh, want to continue to pull back, and it wants to pull back in that 24 to 36 hour mark. So we want the customer to actually wear this within that 24 hours and let it start to conform to their legs, and then let it rest for another 24 hours, wear it for a little while, let it rest, wear it for a little while. And what that does, that allows the leather, as it is shrinking back off of the stretcher, uh, to give you a custom fit on your leg. That's the idea behind doing this. Think about it like this. We're kind of blowing up a balloon, and then you're having an object inside the balloon, then the balloon's gonna shrink around the object and form something very specific, okay, a specific shape, and then stay that way. Um, probably foam molding or something like that. Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing with this, with the leather. That's the basic concept. So we're gonna go through this. She's gonna come in in a week. Uh, we let it set up for a week to make sure that it gets way past the elasticity of the leather, definitely gets into a set position, so it stays there for long enough for it to actually conform to her leg, or in this particular case, we want it to stay in that position long enough for it to set so that when we stretch it next time, we can get it much larger because it's, not, it's at a new point in its elasticity. Okay, so that's why the continuous stretch, do it nice and slow, and then continue to progressively get it larger and larger and larger. All right, well, the next video we're gonna show you is her trying these on. All right, we'll see you then. So the, shoe, the boots have set up for a week, and we're gonna go ahead and detree them, and then we're gonna let you try them on and see how they did. They came out of the tree is really nice, which means the stretch held. If they drop like that, pressure on these yeah. and they were very flexible which yeah. did very nice. Oh my god, Let's have a look. I'm so impressed that it just did that. And I have leggings on too, mm -hmm. which I kind of wanted because that way it gives me a little even extra leeway. This one, not so much. Oh, no, it died. There we go. Yay, it's perfectly stretched. <laughs> How do they feel? They feel really good, actually. Okay. I like that they're still tight and like, you know, it's still fitting. So what we're gonna do, uh, you have instructions now. Okay. Okay, you got some homework to do. So okay. homework is you need to wear them. You need to wear them for 30 minutes a day, each day for the next three days, okay? okay? No more, no less. Okay. What's gonna happen is the hot and cold portions of your leg are gonna give the information the leather needs to conform to your leg, give you a custom fit. Okay. If you wear it more than half an hour in the first three days, ultimately what it's gonna do is it's gonna shrink back to what exactly it was oh, when you started. So just half an hour. Half an hour only, that's okay. the trick. Everybody hears that and they go, oh, wear it three hours in the first day, it'll be great. No, no. that's not the way you do it. Half an hour. Half an hour. Take them off. Okay. You know, you don't even have to walk in them. Yeah. Except they watch TV. Okay. Okay. But on your leg for half an hour. Yeah. Off for 24. On your leg for 20. Or for half an hour. Yeah. Off for 24. Yeah. On. And then on the fourth or fifth day. Yeah. After you're done with that. Yeah. Wear them like normal. Go out to lunch. Go out yeah. to dinner. See yeah. how they feel. If they yeah. feel good, you're good. Yeah. No problems. Yeah. If not, bring them back. We do them some more. Okay. No Just problem. The, gar the guarantee is one year. Oh. It's all done. Oh, easy, okay. easy. Okay. Cool. No, super easy. I'm really so, glad. Mm -hmm. So. It does work? Yes, it's totally comfortable. Yeah. Yay, <laughs> All right, cool. So Thank no problems. You. No, no problems. Um, I wanted to see if is the bag also ready while I'm here? I can check. Okay. check on that. Well, uh, that is all for our stretch video. That actually did Sorry. a lot faster than we thought we were going to do. So hope you liked your lesson in leather. And join us again next time. Thank you.